Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique, a soon to be graduating medical laboratory student. Today is the day I take my exam. It's basically like the last exam that I will ever take as a student. So the only thing standing between me and graduation is this freaking test and my senior capstone that I'm about to turn in today. Last week was Thanksgiving break and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't study as much as I would have wanted to. However, this past weekend I did media lab exams and I've been scoring between 50 and 70 at a level five. So I think I'll be okay. I'm just sitting in my car and drinking some tea before I head in to take this test. So I'll probably talk to y'all later. I'm done. I'm done. I took my final of the finals. And honestly, I knew by question 40 out of 100 that this exam was dead. <laughs> I walked out of there knowing good and well that I did a lot of guesswork. We did get the grades back and I made a 50. I only know of one other person that scored higher than me and they made like a 52. However, if that was my ASAP exam, I would have passed and I would be certified right now. So I ain't even mad. And even if I did study thoroughly, um, I wouldn't have scored any better because the stuff on that exam, it was a lot of material that I had never seen before. And at this point, it is what it is. I'm not gonna dwell on the ifs, ands, or whatevers. It's behind me now. And my takeaway from that exam is that I have a better idea of a chunk of things I should study for my boards exam. <laughs> but now it's time for me to go to work. I'm so happy to be done with finals. I didn't had like four finals this semester so far, but I'm done now. That is a major weight off of my chest. That stress from exams is over now. You know, I mean, I still have my certification exam, but that's its own beast. And I will figure out how to prep for that later. I just know I hate doing reviews of material because I get overwhelmed when I realize how much stuff I didn't commit to memory. <laughs> So for that reason alone, I'm thinking that I'll just do practice exams every day up until I take my board exam. But one step at a time, I'm going to go to work now and I will talk to y'all later. All right. It's Thursday now. <laughs> and today was the last day of class. I feel like that was a pretty abrupt ending to the program because I swore we were supposed to be coming every single day next week as well. But no, today was the last day and I was not paying attention to the memo. But in the middle of class, like it actually hit me. I was just thinking about life. In this moment, I'm done with school, technically. Like, it won't be official until next week when graduation happens and the transcripts and stuff get finalized. But I just really hope that I will have a smooth transition into the workforce. I've been so used to being a student that it's gonna feel weird to not have those obligations anymore, like studying and assignments and stuff. Like the loss of structure in my life is gonna be so real. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I know it would definitely free up so much time for me to put into my hobbies and things. So I think I'll be okay. But yeah, I was just sitting there thinking like, I don't have to go back to school next semester. <laughs> and that's so crazy. Soon I'm gonna be going into somebody's lab to contribute to society. <laughs> I'm gonna have a permanent big girl job and really soon. That's crazy. Oh, oh, okay, let me show y'all. Look at the stuff that my program director gave us for graduating. This is like a certificate of completion of the program, which I thought was cute. This is a little notebook. Without the lab, you're only guessing. It has a little pouch and then it opens up into a full notebook. It came with a pen as well. I'm gonna keep this one at home because it's so cute. And we got this little thing. <laughs> A little scientist guy for the desk. It's raining, if you hear that. And we did get a program pen, which I'm not gonna show it because it has the name of the school on it, but we got a little program pen to wear at graduation. Another pen. The science behind the medicine. So cute. It's the lucky black pencil. So I would definitely be carrying it with me. Okay, and then this keychain. And then just a bunch of candy and stuff. My classmate, one of my friends, she gave me this. Merci chocolate. But yes, it's just so cute. A little graduation bag for the graduates. I thought it was cute. Like, I realized, like, I'm going to be going into the workforce, but it hasn't actually hit me that I'm going to be graduating. So I don't think it would actually hit me until sometime next week. 
<laughs> but yeah, so we went to class today, and then my cohort, we all had lunch together as our final senior send-off. And after today, I should begin prepping for the ASUP exam. I can't say that I will start right away because I just need a mental break. I need a break. So I'm probably gonna take a little bit of time off to just kind of relax and recollect myself. <laughs> This semester was tough. I've already applied for the board exam and paid the money and stuff. I'm just waiting on them to give me the test date so I can schedule my test in 2022. I will try to take it as soon as possible. When I looked at them test sites, I might have to be going out of state to take it at a date that's convenient for me. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, update. So I got the job. I did accept the job in October and had my official start date to be in December, like a week from now. Then in November, HR called me and told me that they would not allow me to work until I was fully certified and they halted everything with the new higher paperwork and stuff. Then they called me this morning to tell me that I can actually start working on the original date that we agreed upon. So somehow, some way, somebody messed up. And now I literally have only one day to get an entire checklist of new hire stuff done before my orientation date. I'm so annoyed because I could have had all this stuff done in November as planned. It's like a lot of paperwork, a health assessment, you know, all the new hire stuff. So now they are rushing me to get it all done by tomorrow and it didn't have to be this way. So hopefully I will get everything done. The only thing I'm not doing tomorrow is the flu shot. That can wait till next week. So I have to get that done before the first day as well, or they won't let me go to work. <laughs> they won't let me start. So stay tuned for all that stuff. I'm really, really hoping that I made the right decision for myself. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm still so excited to begin my first job. And thankful that I can even say that, that I will be working full time really soon. So yeah, I don't know what else I need to say. I guess that's all I had to update you guys with. I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get back home, because I'm ready to go. I don't really know how I'm gonna edit this vlog. I'm so sorry that my vlogs this semester have just been me talking the entire time. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut this vlog off here. I really wanna thank you all for following along with my journey as a medical laboratory student. I will be closing this chapter out as I transition into new grad life. So thank you again so, so, so much for supporting me and all the kind words and messages that you guys have sent me along the way. It has been very uplifting and motivating to know that I have a small community that I can turn to with whatever I have going on in life to get advice or just to hear from you guys that I am not alone in this experience, specifically of being in medical lab school. But the next time you see me, I'm gonna be a graduate officially a graduate so yes this is the final vlog as a medical laboratory student if you have time or you're new here or just feel nostalgic there is an entire playlist on my channel going all the way back to my very first week as a medical laboratory student feel free to check it out i'm probably going to go back and watch it too so i can reminisce after i edit this vlog don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my journey to the lab as a new grad. I do have a good bit of content planned this month. I'm not doing Vlogmas this year, but definitely stay tuned and I'll see y'all next time.